woman sues Popeye's claiming flesh-eating screw worms in the rice and beans, ate her alive from the inside out, and left her so sick she lost her job and home. Karen Good unknowingly ingested flesh-eating New World screw worms. The San Antonio woman is seeking $1 million in damages claiming Popeye's served her rice and beans containing the maggots. The screw worms laid eggs in her body and ate her alive from the inside out. Attorneys say the woman became ill she could not work and lost her business. A San Antonio woman is suing Popeye's Louisiana kitchen claiming she unknowingly ingested flesh-eating screw worms in her rice and beans. Karen Good is seeking $1 million in damages in her case against the food chain and its local franchise, Sugarland said and H Foods Inc. Ken's 5 reported. The woman allegedly ate the meal at the restaurant on 506 S. W. W. White Road in San Antonio. According to the lawsuit filed on Tuesday in Barra County District Court, the flesh-eating insect scented her digestive tract and laid eggs in the lining of her small intestine. When the eggs hatched, they infested plaintiff's body and began to eat plaintiff alive from the inside out. New World screw worms are known to infest livestock and warm-blooded animals, including humans, according to the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Although most human cases are rare, it can be fatal if left untreated. The screw worms have been mostly eradicated from the U.S., but they have been reports in the last decade. Good said she was ravaged by E. coli and Helicobacter pylori bacteria infection. Infestation of flesh-eating screw worms into her body, injury to her neck, digestive tract, shoulders and arm, according to the complaint. Good's lawyer, Patrick J. Stelmeyer said the woman became so ill she could not work and ultimately lost her business, house and vehicles. The lawsuit was filed on February 7, but Stelmeyer did not specify the date of the incident or if it was reported to the local health department. A Popeyes spokesperson said the company could not comment on pending cases.